Hey developers, sometimes when you're working with Vue.js applications, you want to add a little bit of flair. You can add in transitions and animations and it's built right into Vue.js and it's really easy. Today we're going to look at transitions, so stay all the way to the end and find out how to add them. Alright, so I have here just a skeleton file. I don't have anything open. Or I don't really have anything done here in the file yet. All I have is some HTML tags, a head tag. I have my script. This is adding view to it. Um, I have some style here. We're going to add some style into this file to do our transitions. And we have a body and then we have a script tag here. And I just created a, an empty div tag with an ID app in here. So before we begin, let me just remind you guys that uh, we there is differences between transitions and animations. So transitions is when you go from one thing to another. Animations, you can actually have keyframes, different events, so you can go from multiple different places. Uh, I found a great article on this. If you look at Intro to View 5 Animations, I'll include in the links below. It just kind of talks about the differences between the two, CSS animations and transitions, and yeah, transitions versus animations, which I think is really good because it explains it really well. It kind of just says the same thing I just mentioned. A transition basically works by interpolating the values from one state to another, while animations are different that you can make multiple states occur with one declaration. So I would recommend reading that too. It has some good examples, but I'm going to show you just some basic ones from here. So uh, by the way, Vue.js has six different transition classes. And so you have V enter, and we'll, I'll explain how this works. So this is starting from one state um, when you enter, and you added before element is inserted, and then there's enter active, active state for enter applied during the entire entering phase. And then you have enter two, it's only available in the newer versions of Vue.js, and that's the ending state for enter added one frame after element is inserted. And then there's the same thing, but with leave. So you can see this, I'll show this in the transi transition when I add, I'll go ahead and open up the console and you can see it adding and, and taking away these CSS classes. There's also a good, yeah, you can see right here, you can see opacity, you see here's the enter state and the leave state. And these get added uh, as you add in, yeah, as you add or, or remove the element from the DOM. And you can kind of see it here. So let's go ahead and let's add Vue.js in. So we'll go new view, we'll add the Vue.js Vue constructor. And we'll set the element to app. And we'll add a data function. And it's going to return an object. And we'll just add something called demo for now. And we'll call it, I don't know, transition. Let me use the right transition me. And then I'll put these curly brackets and put demo in here. And we'll make it a little bit bigger so we can see what's happening. OK, so I have it open here. Here it is, transition me. And nothing, nothing too crazy here. All we have is transition me here at the top. I'll make it a little bigger so you can see it. Um, so let's add, first thing we want to do is just let's, let's add a toggle. So it, we have a button, we press it, it opens up, it closes it. So let's do this. We'll add another h1 tag, transition demo, and then we'll add a button. And in the button we'll have it, um, if you don't understand what these are, I actually did another video earlier where I talked about different directives in Vue.js. And these directives can be used, can be mapped to different methods, or you can inline in JavaScript code right inside them. So this is the at click, which is a directive that will trigger every time it's clicked. And we'll put it in, we'll just do show equals not show, so it'll toggle show. And we'll just have a button called press me, or we'll just call it toggle doesn't really matter. And then in this h1 right here, we're going to add a div tag. And we'll have it a v if, and that will equal show. So when show is true, we'll 
put this in here. So when the show is true, the demo will show. When it's false, it won't show. So that should be easy. And then one other thing, we, we definitely have to add it into our data here. So we'll have show, and we'll just default it to false. So we refresh the page. So here's our H1 tag at the top. This says transition demo. We have a button called toggle. If we hit the toggle button, now we have this thing called transition me. So obviously this isn't doing any real transitions. We're not having any animations involved. So let's add in this animation. So to do that, we're gonna add a new, uh, there's a new HTML element that Vue.js uses called transition. And then we're gonna name it. So we're gonna name it, um, what should I name it? Let's just name it fade. And let's just copy this out of here and we'll paste it afterwards. I'm just doing a quick editing here. There we are. Okay. So now we have this transition here and this is, since we added this transition, now we can go ahead and add in our styles and do our CSS styles with these classes that we talked about earlier. So let's just do the basic one. So we'll do, we'll put it in our style tag. We'll then, so we since we called it fade, we're gonna use fade and then we put in the class. So enter active and we'll also put in fade leave active and then we're also going to do the opposite, which is fade enter, and then fade leave two. So when this enter active or leave active happens, we want it to change the opacity and do a transition. So we're gonna do a transition. Well, we'll do the transition first. Transition, we're gonna put opacity and we'll do, we'll make it long. So we'll do it 2.5 seconds and ease out. And this is just basic CSS here, um, CSS transitions. If uh, you want more information about that, I would look at the article included in the show notes in the description below and we'll put opacity zero. So this will give it a nice fading effect. Um, so let's see if that works. I'm gonna refresh it. So now you can see here it's it's transitioning in, it's fading in, and then it fades back out. So if we go to inspect here, actually we have it already open at the bottom. Might be kind of hard to see. Can you see it? Yeah, you can probably see it. So if you go style here and look at the body, and at the body, it might be hard to see. I don't know if you could see it. Try to make this a little bigger. You can see here's a button. If you hit the toggle, it adds the, the div class, the fade enter active, fade enter two is there, and then it disappears. So we toggle again, the fade lead active and the fade leave two is there, and then it disappears. So you can see it's adding and it's taking away those that CSS uh, that those classes to do the transition. And if we look down here, you can see it. It's doing it. See it. Kind of see my head's in the way. Yep, it's adding it. Those classes takes it away. So that way you can do kind of cool transitions there. I won't get into animations in this video, but in my next video I will. Uh, one other thing, maybe we wanted to maybe we want to blur out this transition demo at the top. So let's add in a couple more CSS classes. We're gonna add one, one called BK. We're gonna add a transition to this. So alls point second ease out. And we're gonna add another class here, blur. And then filter blur. So we're gonna do a little blurring effect. We'll put the opacity at 0.4s. Oops, 0.4. And then we'll surround this with a div and you can bind 
You can do some bind in here. I'm going to just copy and paste it so I don't type it in wrong. So we can have a class enter depending on a variable. And the way we do that is like this. So what this is saying is you're going to bind this class. If show is true, then you add the blur class. Otherwise, you add the back class, um, which we have the blur and uh, yeah, BK. So um, we'll show you back class will be a variable. Is what I'm trying to say. And we'll go ahead and move this here. And then down here, we'll go ahead and add in our two things here. So we have the back class, and that's going to equal BK. Otherwise, it goes the blur class, which equals blur. So that makes more sense. So yeah, so you can see if shows true, it goes to blur class. Otherwise, it goes to back class. And those were at the bottom that we showed. So let's try this again. So we hit toggle, it blurs out the top, and it shows the bottom of the transition me. If we hit it again, it transitions out, and the transition demo is not blurred again. It's because it takes away those classes. And you could see here, if you look here, you see the blur BK class is added. If you hit it again, it's take just the BK classes there. So that is just a quick way of doing transitions in Vue.js. Uh, in my next video, I'll look at animations. If you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button and also click that little bell button. That really helps me out. Thanks. Take care.